So we're making the legs, starting on the base. Uh, Cheryl and I have been working off and on. It actually took me a little while to get it all laid out and figured out what's going to happen. So essentially this is all poplar. Poplar is a, is a hardwood, just like the walnut um, versus, you know, like a pine or something. So it is a hardwood. So this will be all hardwood. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I got a big old pine chunk in the middle of it. <laughs> So, but anyway, uh, so it's, uh, but the, the outside will be all hardwood. Um, so kind of working on getting the legs cut. That took a couple hours to get that figured out. Uh, so I figured I'd show you guys that. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll video me cutting some. But anyway, before I do that, this is the apron. So essentially the apron is going to run along the base. You'll notice that it is cut long compared to the legs, and that's because it's going to have tenons in it, right? That the mortise is cut in the legs and tenons that those fit into. So the little mortise and tenons on there. There's a piece of molding up there that will actually sit uh, along the bottom here, and will ride along the bottom that will give a little decorative feature to it. And then, of course, glue it all together and, uh, and then paint it. Uh, it'll also have a uh, essentially another rail that runs from here to provide stability across all four legs. Uh, and there's dowels over here, so it'll be a little magazine rack thingy, right? So not only just have that in there, but they'll, we'll put a little magazine rack in it too that um, between all the legs that will... Uh, should allow Cheryl to stack papers. So anyway, it's got some work to do. I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to get the whole, if I can get all the legs done, um, bottoms drilled, mortises in, tenons cut, and the whole bottom part fit. Now I can measure everything for all the bottom part, which I've got measured over here. Uh, I will have to essentially take measurements for, for the, the uh, top style that runs across here or the rail that runs across uh, because because of the tapers on the legs here if you notice I've actually got a small taper uh, on the legs uh, they're just on the inside corners there's a reason I did that is this top is so heavy I, I was been really worried about it being tippy uh, and so uh, the top is real heavy what I don't really want to do is have that leg kick in and kind of minimize my diameter if that makes sense uh, so I'm actually doing straight, right? So straight 90 if you look on the outside of the leg, but a, but a uh, essentially a taper on the inside of the leg on the two sides. And that kind of gives a, a little bit of a, a uh, what do you call it? A little bit of a optical illusion that makes the legs look like they're kicking out a little bit too, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'll hit these all. Uh, we're going to do some features on them, so they're going to have a little bit of hand carving on them, uh, some sanding, uh, just some little features. Most legs have got some, can get really, really fancy. Uh, I don't want just pieces of wood, though, so I'm going to, you know, try to make it a little bit pretty. We'll do some spoke shave uh, carving work, some some of the hand planer, uh, the, the little block plane, and uh, actually do a few little cuts in it to get some nice little groove features and then we'll kind of do that across all so I've got three legs I've got the fourth leg sitting over there that I'm going to cut here in a minute uh, and then of course these are all for the mortise and tenons uh, I've got a scrap piece for the mortise and tenons to get them or to get the, the, the tenons on here a little handy dandy tool from shopsmith that will help me do that and this is the leg I'm going to be cutting so with the leg that I'm going to be cutting, I mean, I've been doing them over here on the bandsaw. I tried to do it on the table saw, but uh, essentially threw a piece of wood at me. So I don't, not real thrilled about that. So anyway, so I've got this handy dandy little tool right here. Uh, also from Dad Shopsmith that uh, will allow me to uh, essentially get this cut. What you do is you put your board in here like this. And put it up there and you run this tool by and then that sets that off at a little angle right there and then it cuts those all identical so that's what I'm trying to do is make sure they're all identical uh, I'll get that that one cut on two sides and then from there uh, we will um, 
go and finish up the rest of the stuff so there you go so getting getting closer uh if i can get this all like i said get the all bottom all done and uh bars tendon put together it's good and tight dry fit i'm not going to glue and am ready to do the rails this weekend i'll be i'll be pretty happy so that's my goal uh today kind of got away from me uh, a little bit had to work uh, about five o'clock in the morning to find out that my work people who work for me uh, all forgot that or whatever they didn't show up so it took me an hour and a half to get them to get up and then we had problems and blah 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 so been working a long time so it took a little nap they kind of got away from me uh, it is now hotter than hades out here but uh but the good news is i don't have to mow my park is still a park uh and uh everything's good so hopefully and i'm hoping to man in like two weeks i can have this table in the in the house so we'll see all right